بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم اس از اے ٹرانسلیشن اف درس گیون بائی امام راشد صاحب اللهم صل على محمد وعلى ال محمد كما صليت على ابراهيم وعلى ال ابراهيم انك حميد مجيد اللهم بارك على محمد وعلى ال محمد كما باركت على ابراهيم وعلى ال ابراهيم انك حميد مجيد with regards to the درس of the of hadith we are um, discussing the uh, incident which is narrated by Hazrat Kaab bin Malik who he relates his incident and he said at one stage when once a messenger came to me and gave me the message that the Holy Prophet ﷺ has instructed that you should become separated from your wife you're not allowed to stay with her he said that what is the Holy Prophet ﷺ's uh, wish for me does he wish that i should does he mean that i should divorce my wife or what shall i do the messenger replied that the holy prophet sallallahu alaihi um, me- uh, message is only this that you should have no physical relationship with your wife and the same message has also been sent to the your two other companions he said that he told his wife that go to your parents house and stay there until Allah makes a decision, Allah reveals a decision about me. Then he says that Hilal bin Amayya's wife um, went to the Holy Prophet Sallallahu and she uh, requested that Hilal bin Amayya is an old man and he needs um, support. He can't do his own uh, work and he doesn't have a servant. So would you dislike that I should serve him the Holy Prophet Sallallahu said that I have only said that uh, no physical relationship should be should exist between um, him and you she said that he can't even move um, he there is no question of any physical relationship since this incident has happened he has been weeping so the Holy Prophet Sallallahu gave her gave her permission to stay with her husband. Hazrat Kaab bin Malik says that some of his uh, rel- relatives told him as well that you should also go and um, ask permission uh, about your wife uh, from the Holy Prophet Sallallahu and hopefully you will also get permission just like Hilal bin Umayyah's wife was given permission he said that I responded that I'm not going to um, uh, ask uh, any permission about my wife and I don't know what the Holy Prophet ﷺ may say to me and then he said that he he was young and he may commit a mistake so in this situation another 10 days went past and f- 50 days were completed of uh, his situation and at this time his circumstances suddenly uh, tran- got transformed he said that he was offering he had just finished offering his Fajr Salat on the roof of his house and he was thinking about his situation which has been mentioned in the Holy Quran in these words that despite the earth being vast became tight on him and he was um, he was fed up with himself he was in a, a great trial and while he was thinking this he heard the 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 uh, the voice of this um, crier who was who was on a Salah mountain and he said O Kaab bin Malik glad tidings to you when he heard this he said that he immediately fell down in prostration with this out of a sense of gratitude this is what a believer always does when he hears a good some good news from Allah he they fall down in prostration and he said that he became sure that now the time or the the moment of happiness and um, pleasure has descended upon him finally then the holy prophet sallallahu told me that um, uh, uh, the holy prophet sallallahu told the companions that allah has accepted his repentance so people suddenly started to rush towards them to congratulate him um, on just previously no one, no one would even 
uh, would have any relationship with them and would not even respond to his salutations. But since as soon as the Holy Prophet ﷺ said that his repentance had been had been accepted, it the pleasure the people felt was worth seeing. He said that people ran to give us glad, glad tidings. Some went went towards his companions, and one man got on his horse uh, to come to me so that he could come to me, he could give me the, the good news quickly. But another man stood on top of um, a mountain and uh, so so that I heard his, his loud voice before the, the, compa- the companion who was on a horse got to him. This was the state of the, the uh, believers at that time that they want to be the first to send, to bring me the good news as soon as the Holy Prophet ﷺ announced it and uh, because they wanted me uh, me to be happy he said that when the messenger came to me I took my uh, cloak off the outer clothing and I gave it to him put it on over him he said that this was uh, a tradition among the Arabs that they used to take off their top uh, clothing and they would either send it as a gift to that person or they would give it to him so he said at that time I took my outer clothing off and gave it to him and he said that I swear on, uh, by Allah that that was the only clothes he had and the and he said that he asked someone for some clothing uh, outer clothing and he went to um, see the Holy Prophet Sallallahu he said at that time, there were many groups of people who who met me and who were congratulating me on the acceptance of my repentance. And they said, congratulations, Allah has accepted your repentance. And then he goes on to say that when he entered the mosque, he saw that the Holy Prophet ﷺ is standing, is among, standing amongst his companions and around him other companions were also s- seated there. Talha bin Abadullah ran towards me and he uh, shook my hands and gave me glad tidings. And he said that, I, Kaab bin Malik says that, I swear by Allah that out of the migrants, he was the only one who got up to congratulate me. No, none, no one else got up. So he remembered this, um, this um, pious deed that has a Talha um uh, uh, Mother Talha did uh, he remembered this piet- his piety and he never forgot this kind act of Hazrat Talha so Hazrat Kaab bin Malik says that he went to the Holy Prophet Sallallahu and he said Assalamu Alaikum at that time the Holy Prophet Sallallahu blessed countenance was lit up with joy and he said to me uh, congratulations to you on this most blessed day since the day your mother has given birth to you such a such a blessed day has never dawned upon you look at the love of the Holy Prophet ﷺ with him and he and he congratulated him in the most beautiful manner Imam Sahib is saying that he wishes to repeat this he said that may Allah uh, uh, congratulations to you on this most blessed day and such a blessed day has never dawned upon, dawned upon you since you were born by your uh, since your mother gave birth to you he said that he asked the holy prophet sallallahu that o prophet of allah are you giving me this glad tidings from yourself or has allah given me uh, as allah granted this to me the holy prophet sallallahu replied that it, it is from allah so he says that the people who were uh, who used to see the Holy Prophet them, they would witness this that when he was happy, he'd, his face would light up with uh, light up, and he would look like a beautiful full moon. And we were all well aware of this uh, state of uh, uh, the Holy Prophet Sallallahu When he sat in fr- with the Holy Prophet Sallallahu he said that, "O oh, Prophet of Allah, I wish to uh, w- let go of all my wealth." And I wish to give all of it to Allah as a as a charity. The Holy Prophet said that keep some of your wealth with you. This is better for you. So I said that okay. Oh, I will do whatever you say. I will keep the inheritance of Khaybar with me. And I said to the Holy Prophet that 
Allah has given me uh, has uh, granted me salvation because of my truth and to save me from destruction and my um, repentance will be fulfilled in this way that I'll, I promise that in future I'll always speak the truth I swear in the in, in the name of Allah that I I do not know anyone who has been through this tri- such a trial because of speaking the truth and then its end sh- should have been so incredible Hazrat Kaab says that in front of the Holy Prophet Sallallahu when he he made this promise that he would not lie and he said that um, till this day I have never lied and I hope that I will always be protected from this by Allah and Allah would always grant me the ability to always speak the truth in the in my future life there's some more of this tradition to be um, to be presented which will be presented later on inshallah assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh